sé, no existe otra cosa que ve lo que con tu amor se goza. Tú eres todo lo que necesito, siempre estás. Ok, this problem relates to anybody who's having that do not disconnect. No, and uh, it's not detecting it in iTunes, and it's not detecting it in Windows, and it's not really, it's not being detected at all. So, the problem with this is iPods and Windows. When, uh, when you connect an iPod to iTunes through Windows, it mounts it. And if you unplug the cable before you eject it from iTunes, your iPod could corrupt. The files within your iPod could corrupt. And that's exactly what happened here. The uh, files on your the iPod corrupted. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go through the motions of how I fixed it. And what I did was I discovered there's a hard reset. So what I first did was uh, after a lot of trial error I reset this, and I'd hold uh, select and menu for 10 seconds. And that's going to take me to a black screen. As soon as that happens, I'm going to push two other buttons. We're going to push select and play or pause. And that's going to switch it over to disk mode. And as you can see here, it says uh, disk mode, OK to disconnect or something to that effect. So once I was able to do that, I then replugged this into my iTunes. And Windows didn't give me any problems. So I plugged it in. I went to iTunes, and iTunes detected a, a problem, a corruption, and it said you should restore it. I restored it, the iPod rebooted, and it was working again, which is great. Uh, the only downside is yes, all the video, all the music, everything goes down. But lesson learned, don't pull your iPod because if you corrupt it, you're stuck. Check out.